Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back to the allotment, or welcome if this is your first time here. So I'm Tim and this is my carbon coach. It's a channel all about allotment life and eco living and all of that kind of good stuff. And today we're gonna to be looking at sowing a lot more seeds. I've got this entire bed behind me. So I've filled it up with some brand new lovely compost. I've also been taking home all of the coffee grounds and uh, tea leaves, used tea leaves from work. I work in a coffee shop. If you're in Taunton, going to plug, plug where I work, company spaces, you should pop in and say hi. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're going to be filling up this bed uh, before we crack on with that. Uh, usual YouTube a uh, bit of upkeep uh, if you could hit the thumbs up button hopefully you like the video to do that uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification thing if you haven't already that would be awesome feel free to drop a comment down below much much appreciated so what we'll do we'll head up onto my uh, picnic bench and we'll go through some seeds so it's been another miserable weekend uh, more rain uh, which is yeah, it seems like it's rained every weekend for the past 10 years. Uh, what that means is I'm currently getting a soggy bottom. Paul Hollywood would probably have a fit, but it's for a good cause. Let's get the string out of the way. We're gonna crack open, no, not having my breakfast, but this is my, my beautiful seed tin, a vintage uh, Weetabix um, box, and I absolutely love it. So basically, we're just gonna crack through here and see what is going on. Um, so I've already planted some carrots, cauliflowers. I think I need to sow them in pots ready to plant out. So gonna give those a miss this time around. Swiss chard is still uh, able to be planted in July. So we're gonna get onto that as well. So that's awesome, we'll put that there. Uh, Pak Choi have already sown. Lolo Rosso, to be honest, I might do even more lettuce. Um, that's always a good filler, it just keeps on bouncing back. Uh, blueberries and strawberries and sunflowers, I've um, no doubt sort of missed all of that, really. So that's a, a bit of a shame, but that will save till next year. I've got some more cauliflower, and this was um, the Romanesco, like the, um, the fractal patterned ones. I was really excited about sowing those and then just sort of completely forgot about them. So never mind, we'll go again next year with them. I know I said last time around that I'm not a fan of Swede, however I'm going to try just sticking some of that in the ground. Um, it will fill up the space to be honest and no doubt I'll be able to find a use for it. Kohlrabi, to be honest, it freaks me out. <laughs> the look of it, it looks so alien so I'm going to give that a miss. And uh, yeah, we'll give turnips a go as well. Again, not a super fan of that kind of a root vegetable, but never mind. Let's have a look in this part here. So we can get some endive maybe on the go. Definitely going to do some spinach. Uh, those are just flowers, so that's nothing to see here. Those are more flowers, sweet peas, spring onions. Yeah, slightly missed those. It's no longer spring. It's basically winter with how awful the weather is. Uh, let's keep on flicking through. So what is that? Uh, radishes. Let's have a go at some radishes, actually. That would be awesome. These are my onion seeds. So again, we're going to save those uh, for a little bit later in the year, but definitely going to grow some, some onions from seed once more. Uh, we've got more radishes, so we'll get those in the ground. I've got so many seeds in here, it's amazing. They're completely unsorted, it's just no man's land. It's like the wild west of seeds here. Uh, a load of herbs, which we will give a rest for now. A packet of tomatoes, which I really wanted to grow. We've missed quite a lot of stuff. Oh, I've got some more sweet here. Anyway, um, we've got some cabbage, so we're gonna get that on the go. The brassicas were mentioned in the comments on my last video as something really good to, good to uh, grow. I've got another type of onion here as well, a senshu yellow. So I'll put that with the other ones and we'll have two types of white onion uh, for next time. These are uh, nasturtiums, never gonna grow nasturtiums. I've got enough going on in the background here. So it looks like we're sort of reaching the end of, of what's going on. Parsnips, it's very strange. It says like sow them in February, March, April. Yeah, and then harvest them over, over winter. So well and truly missed the, missed the ball there. Got some more onion seeds here as well. And we've got some Brussels sprouts, so yeah, I think we've got a reasonable chunk of, of the old uh, things here. So hopefully that will, if I uh, yeah get them lined up in the bed well enough, we'll be able to have a successful successful day sowing. Um, unfortunately, they came in plastic, but I've got myself some more pea canes, and I've got the old trusty twine, so I'm gonna make myself a load of marker lines across uh, so I know where my drills are going. 
check me out in drills um, and we will yeah get that all lined up and basically bosh these in the ground i'm not sure if i'm going to have enough uh, markers but thank goodness um, it'll be on film so i'll be able to be able to catch exactly how far along the bed everything's going so yeah that's exciting that's going to be me sorted for the next sort of hour or so just yeah plodding along uh, marking out lines and sowing all of these lovely seeds <music> Okay, so I've got all of my lines in, so I know how many uh, drills I can make across the bed. And I've got space for 11. So I've laid out my uh, seed packets where I'm gonna go. So we're starting off with some cabbage, uh, just one row, two rows of spinach. We're gonna do a double lot of turnips, double lot of swedes. We then got lettuce, Swiss chard, regular breakfast radish, and then we've got some rainbow radishes at the end. So I think that's going to be a really nice mix, uh, fingers crossed. I think the cabbage you meant to grow in trays and then transplant outside. So that might not be a success, but we're going to give it a whirl anyway, because uh, I'm always up for an experiment. So I'm just going to crack on, uh, get, um, get, the, get these in the ground. <music> So I'm calling that a bit of a success. Got an entire bed filled with uh, brand new seeds. Um, so hopefully, um, even if at least half of those work out, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hard on myself. All of them are gonna work out. Um, but yeah, if I get some results from that, I'll be super happy. Uh, what I've also done whilst I'm up here is planted out a sunflower that I picked up from Morrison's on a whim. I was just in there doing some shopping, you know, as you do. And then you see a sunflower. And yeah, I wasn't organized this year to to sow my own so I've bought one and it's looking absolutely beautiful and then the other day uh, my father-in-law Bob very kindly drove me to b and I don't have a car and we picked up some compost and some wood chipping and uh, they had a load of busy lizzies uh, on sale they were like one quid for, for a tray so I picked up a few of those to just zhuzh up my border a bit just make it look a bit pretty and yeah I'm really really loving the look of that as well at the minute so it's all it's all doing all right it's all doing all right as I said at the top of the video, uh, there's a few ways that you can support the channel. Uh, thumbs up, subscribing, leaving comments, all of that great stuff is absolutely free and massively, massively helps the channel. And if you so wanted, you could check out my Patreon. It's a way of you supporting content creators financially to carry on creating content. Um, so I've got some wonderful patrons at the minute. Uh, your support means the world to me. And anyone else that wants to join in from as little as two pounds a month, it really, really helps with the allotments, with with the litter picking and everything that my carbon coach is becoming. Uh, there won't be a video next week. I'm actually uh, finally going home. I can't wait. It's been like two years uh, to, since I've been home to see my parents. So yeah, it's finally time. I'm super excited to see my brother and his fiance Katie and yeah, just have a really nice family get together. Uh, YouTube is gonna recommend you a video up on the screen. So if you haven't seen it already, why not check that out? And until next time, in two weeks time. Take care of yourselves, take care of your plots. Have a fantastic week everyone. Cheers.